Hello, thank you for tuning in to another episode of Take 10 on Tuesday with the Tennessee Tribune. I'm Jason Luntz. Today I am outside the office. I'm at a really cool building. I'm at the Nashville MTA headquarters. Was this considered the headquarters? Yes. Yeah, headquarters in Madison, actually. And I'm with Chantrell Lowe. How are you? Hi, doing good, doing good. Nice to see you again. Yeah, definitely. So actually, our second time talking to you on Take 10. And I guess that's because transportation is such an important issue here in Nashville. Yes, definitely. Um, transportation is uh, number one um, issue. Um, housing, I think, comes in at second or vice versa. One yeah, I, I, yeah, I think when I talk to people, affordable housing, transportation, they flip-flop a lot. Yes. So what is your position here at MTA? Transit planner. Transit planner. Yes. So what do you do? I do a lot of work with the In Motion 2016 um, strategic plan, and I do a lot of work with the service improvements of uh, the transit system. Okay. So 2016, we're really focused on what we're going to do in the future of National Rail Transportation. Yes. So what are some of the things you're doing to, to have the community involved in that? Um, well, first off, we've done a lot of surveys. We did the um, first transit survey, which kind of talked about um, where people uh, saw the issues or whatever with transit. And basically, they came back with they needed um, more frequency mm-hmm. and um, it needed to be safer, not really on the system, but around the bus stops and okay. shelters and whatnot. So um, with all that being said, we're into our third uh, survey and that is the decide your ride survey decide your ride survey okay so what is that about um basically this is uh taking three different scenarios the first uh being the more visionary uh regional uh uh, scenario and the second being more bus focused uh the third being more um, modest with modest improvements slight upgrades okay and um looking at each one of the elements of those and uh basically telling us which uh of those elements you like the most oh well okay let's talk about that scenario one i've heard a lot about it uh a more regional look at our transit right. so that would be including all the uh counties that make up middle tennessee um, all the scenarios have a, a regional component to it, but the scenario one has more of a, um, a robust feel to it. It has more um, light rail, a commuter rail, a streetcar. It has more components to it than the others. Mm-hmm. Um, the scenario two has more bus focus, where you talk about freeway BRT, bus rapid transit, mm-hmm. and you're talking about a little bit more of the um, um, BRT lights and um, of that sort. So. Mm-hmm. Well, now with the with the rail. So the first scenario focuses on some rail. So that means if we were to be able to do that in this region, rail from like Clarksville, Murfreesboro, um, Columbia, like those different areas would be able to have more access in. Mm-hmm. Um, we are taking a look uh, at the Northwest Corridor. Um, it has its own Northwest Corridor Transit Study. Um, we also are looking at. Uh, a couple of commuter lines or uh, light rail lines in from mm-hmm. Gallatin or Murfreesboro or um, maybe even Franklin. So uh, okay. a couple of different areas um, that we're really focused on. Now with both the bus rapid and the rail, would those do anything to alleviate the trans, um, the amount of traffic we have coming from those various counties and suburbs? Well, we have so many people that are coming to Nashville each day that um, it may alleviate some of the Uh, traffic congestion but um, I really do think that people are going to still hop in their cars and go where they need to go Mm. and if this system gets uh, built out as it stands in scenario one then a lot of people will definitely use it because Mm -hmm. it is very user friendly. Um, Now user friendly would people be able to use it for uh, play and entertainment as well or would it just be running during work hours? Oh no 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 the uh, frequency which means the uh, amount of times it runs per day is, is more frequent. Um, the longer spans, um, longer hours over into the night so that we can pick up those who work the third shift and the late night Titans games. So. <laughs> yeah, that's right. People do want to see those um, Titans play. And um, the third option was, a, you said an upgrade. Yes, the scenario three is basically uh, modest improvements where we're taking our system as is and making simple upgrades um, it's not very much, but it's enough to kind of push us into the next uh, realm of. Mm-hmm. Okay, that makes sense. So 
the modest. So, so when you go on the survey, you get to choose between these three scenarios. Are there other questions on there? Um, yes, there's actually some demographic questions here on the back. Um, basically, some corridor information, which, which corridor you use the most, mm -hmm. um, why do you use it, um, and there's actually a, a price tag to those particular scenarios, as well as a, a comment box to give us more specific information because that's where we get a lot of our feedback from. Oh, that's great. Well, we need everyone out there. Um, if you live in the Nashville area, you don't have to necessarily even live in Nashville to fill this out, right? As long as you yep. live in Middle Tennessee. Yes. We want to um, hear your feedback because one thing I've noticed, um, and I'm a transplant myself, is we have to look at this as an entire region, not just the city of Nashville. Mm -hmm. Some people tend to do. I, I, I know um, it's got to be a lot of work, though, dealing with all these different city mayors, county mayors, and then the state of Tennessee itself. Yes, it's, it's political, but I think we are all coming together because we are all stuck in the same traffic. <laughs> <laughs> that's right. Now, that's a good one. Um, now, what's the um, web address if people want to um, take the survey online? Um, people can go to in the letter N motion 2016.org or you can visit us on Facebook and Twitter. Okay, um, that sounds great. I really appreciate your time. I know you guys are doing a lot of good uh, planning out here and um, we really appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate you coming by. All right, and once again, you've been tuning into Take 10 on Tuesday with the Tennessee Tribune. I'll see you next time.